Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ridwanullah family Welcome back to another episode of Ridwanullah TV's Unfiltered Motivation I'm your host and maximizer Hussein Muhammad Working to help you completely maximize Your dream deen business and life In this dunya and in the akhirah By the grace will And for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I mean, inshallah, in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you about something that uh, holds a lot of value for most of us that we take for granted for the most part, simply because that is what our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, and it is to take advantage of your health before your sickness. Take advantage of your health before your sickness, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. Take advantage of your health before your sickness. Um, and these are the five matters that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talked about when he said, "Take advantage of the five before the five and one of them is take advantage of your health before your sickness." And our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also mentioned that there are two things that people take for granted, and is siha, which is health, and al firab the free time. So the health is extremely, extremely important um, for all of us to take advantage of. And it's time for us to take inventory and take a look at the reality of our health and fitness. ta'ala. And the reason why I bring it up right now for me is there's uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, if anybody can tell or can't tell. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, it's almost like uh, flu-like symptoms, somewhat of a uh, level of some minor level of bronchitis that I can sense a little bit. A little bit of dry cough and things like that just kind of uh, with the season and the changing weather that we're going through you know um, some individuals might be having really bad health um, I've, I've had friends family members um, in the hospital at this particular moment I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cure and heal them um, as well as all of the Muslims across the globe who are suffering from spiritual psychological and physical and or otherwise um, different levels of health and fitness issues ta'ala. so it's important to take advantage of that because it's one of those things where you don't really realize how good you have it until it's gone you know we take our health for granted we just running about you know for those of us who are you know reasonably health and fit uh, healthy and fit or extremely healthy and fit internally and externally uh, we really have to maximize the capacity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us by utilizing our health and fitness in ways that will help us achieve the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who are going through extreme uh, conditions of health and fitness, you know, may, might have broken something, might have some sort of sickness and disease that in a million years that they've never could have thought about. You know, spiritual illness, mental illness, physical illness, financial illness, relationship illness. And, you know, health kind of transcends just the physical element. It goes a little bit deeper than that, a little bit more higher than that. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cure us in all levels of our health and fitness and allow us to be amongst those who take care of their health and fitness. I've been one of those individuals who've been trying to lose, you know, five to ten pounds or so for pretty much all my life. Um, <laughs> um, but Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I'm a lot more conscious about uh, My health and fitness I'm a lot more knowledgeable Even though I don't make the proper decisions Most of the time I'm getting better slowly But surely ta'ala. So it's important to take care of our health um, You know Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I'm doing the best that I possibly can To take care of my health And it's not nearly as close It's not as near as where I need and want to be but you know it's a journey I accept that process as a journey I'm not trying to beat up myself about um, that situation and I'm trying to you know use utilize my uh, body and you guys will see in the interview that I did with uh, brother Darak Nanto who's basically uh, you know super healthy and fit individual mashallah may Allah increase that for him and he was particularly talking about just you know the importance of understanding your body as a vessel um, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you and you have to utilize that vessel in carrying out certain goals and dreams to be able to work on achieving the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the health and fitness is actually a part of it as well, bi ta'ala. So 
that is in essence what I wanted to kind of share with you guys today. Um, hopefully it's, it's giving you a little bit of awareness of certain things that you haven't been t thinking about a lot or was somehow in the back of your mind and your unconscious, subconscious mind that we hope to bring it back to the forefront in your conscious mind. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You know, it's different. Um, having intelligence is extremely important for everybody. Um, and I know I was talking to one of the youth yesterday, last night, at uh, the event at Masjid Medina, mashallah. Um, he's just kind of picking my brain and telling me I'm smart or intelligent. And I was looking at him, I'm like, it takes, it takes one to know one, you know? And, you know, one of the things that I've realized is intelligence is extremely important for us to realize. Are we where we think we are? Is it worse than we think we are? Is it better than we think we are? Is it exactly where we think we are? And how, where do we need and want to be exactly with our health and fitness? I know a lot of the people out there that are looking to get married, you know, one of the things that they primarily focus on is, um, I don't want to be in this situation when I'm getting married, both male and female. Um, you know, they watch what they eat, they try to exercise and stretch and all of this crazy stuff that they do. But how can you make that a habit? How can you make that a reality? And for me right now, there are certain particular areas of my life that I'm focused on right now that I haven't really been covering a lot, like uh, my finance, uh, my freedom, my wealth, my work. Um, that's the seventh category of life that you know, I try to really focus on and I'm gearing up to creating a little bit more content around that to help individuals gain a little bit of consciousness and awareness to be able to change that area of their lives. But as of today, we're going to be really focused on health and fitness. Um, that is actually number two out of the seven uh, parts of life that we continuously have to completely maximize for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I hope that this was a little bit enlightening, at the very least a reminder, um, not only for myself, but everyone who's watching. I truly, truly appreciate um, all of the individuals who are showing love to, to the work that I do, um, that you know come up to me, that, that press the like button, the heart, and all of this amazing love and support that they show online. And even more importantly, the individuals that approach me offline that you know what I mean tell me how appreciative they are directly and you know it takes a lot of humility to be able to tell someone that you enjoy their work and you you you, you like what they're doing um, and I truly truly appreciate those individuals because um, you know it's 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 really hard to to put put aside our ego to to be humble enough to gra to be grateful to individuals um, and that's a quality that I admire a lot and I'm hoping to uh, improve on that myself but before that we really have to improve on our health and fitness um, I hope that you do as well um, as usual I'd like to leave with a challenge um, and I hope that you can leave your comment below on that challenge um, my challenge to you is to assess out of 100% where are you with your health and fitness as of right now since I'm a little bit under the weather I'm going to say about 35% um, and inshallah in the next week or two I'm going to work on getting that to at least 60% if not more So I hope you can leave that comment below And just let me know some of the things that you normally do Or would like to do um, To, to you know, improve your health and fitness Jazakumullah um, khair Ridwanullah family Before I check out Please subscribe to the channel um, And press the notification bell To join the Ridwanullah family um, and if you've liked this video, please press the like button. It shows me um, that you actually like what I do, uh, ta'ala. And, you know, if you know someone who could benefit from improving their health and fitness, or at the very least, a reminder, um, Islamic reminder, send this video to them, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. Um, and share this video with them, bi-idhanillah. Um, Jazakumullah khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning in to another episode of Ridwanullah TV's Unfiltered Motivation. I'm your host and maximizer, Hussein Muhammad, checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely maximizing your dream, deen, business, and life in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.